My name is Edward Ng. I am a professor of architecture at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. We have just won the World Building of the Year Award at the World Architectural Festival for our project Guangming Village Reconstruction in China. It is an anti-seismic earth house. In 2014, there was an earthquake in China and we went to the village and we found that most of the mud houses were destroyed. We saw that people there were suffering, especially an old lady who lost her house and was living in a tent. I was very touched. That was our motive for this building. The most important thing when we first start the work is to investigate what were the problems of the destroyed house. So we collaborate with the local university in Kunming and they actually help us to connect up with the villagers and also the local government. We also work with a team at Cambridge University. They are experts in seismic resistant design. First of all, the house is a very simple house. It has to be simple because villagers need to know how to build it. Together with our seismic design expert, we start to improve the earth mixture that they have on site, applying some scientific principles to it so that it is stronger and it's more workable. For seismic resistant design, it is important that the geometry is simple. A square form is always stronger. So we start our design with a square block. The roof is also very simple and it's pyramid in structure. So even if the wall collapses, the roof will still stay on. So it allows people to escape without being hit by the tiles and structure and things like that. Every time you form an opening in the earth wall, you weaken it. So for big windows like this, we have to surround it with a structure so that the wall becomes integral. The window frame is made of concrete so that when the wall needs to shake, the concrete will hold it intact. One of the more important things is not just to build the house, but the house that the, the inhabitant, in this case the old lady, can enjoy. She told us what she needs for her daily life and we designed the appropriate accommodation accordingly. We divide the square form into two blocks and separate them with an atrium space. It is brightly lit by the top lighting, cool in the summer and warm in the winter because of the high thermal mass of the mud. I think that there is more than just a house that we were trying to work on. It's a prototype that allows us to solve many other problems in many parts of the world. Now we have a workable prototype that we can disseminate. The next thing is to conduct training sessions. We are actually building a training centre in Kunming to train more uh, workers and more farmers so that villagers know how to rebuild their house. Earthquake is not a China problem, it is a worldwide problem. A lot of people live in mud houses. So if you can find a way to help these people by designing a safer structure for them, then we are solving problem for maybe a hundred million people who are now still living in mud houses.